I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. We have learned about implicit differentiation. Here are a few questions for the practice of test on this topic. We have four questions here. You know what implicit differentiation is. It is when the equation is given to you connecting x and y where y is not the subject. Right? So all the equations which are given in this question are where x and y are the variables and y is not the subject. Question number one here is differentiate the following function with respect to x. x e to the power of y minus y cube e to the power of x equals to zero. Question number two, find the gradient of tangent to the graph of 2x square over y minus y over x equals to 1 at x equals to 1. Question number 3. Find the stationary points on the curve x square plus y square minus 4xy plus 3 equals to 0. Fourth question is, if tan xy equals to x, find dy dx at the point 1 pi by 4. In explicit differentiation, we will be using the chain rule, which is dy dx equals to dy du into du dx. We'll be using the product rule, d dx of uv is v times derivative of u plus u times derivative of v. And the quotient rule, which is d dx of u over v is derivative of u times v minus u times derivative of v over v squared. You can pause the video, copy these questions, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin with the solution of the first question, which is we need to differentiate x e to the power of y minus y cube e to the power of x equals to 0. So when you differentiate both sides with respect to x, we get so we take derivative on both sides of the equation with respect to x as shown here. Now you can open this bracket, differentiating each part and then subtracting them. Derivative of 0 is 0, which is written on the right hand side. And now here we are going to apply the product rule, right? So e to the power of y times derivative of x plus x times derivative of e to the power of y. So that is the derivative of the first part minus within the brackets I have written the derivative of the second part. So it is e to the power of x times derivative of y cube plus y cube times derivative of e to the power of x equals to zero. So what you get from differentiation is e to the power of y plus now here we have used the chain rule. So always whenever you are differentiating implicitly, in that case chain rule will be applied. So, so we get this as x times e to the power of y dy dx minus within the brackets the derivative of y cube is what? Let's focus on this. Derivative of y cube is derivative of inside function, which is 3y squared times dy dx, right? That is the chain rule. Plus, now here we are differentiating e to the power of x with respect to x, so we get e to the power of x. <clears throat> now it is a question of solving this equation. You can open the brackets, take dy dx common, as we have shown here in the next step, and then divide by the coefficient of dy dx to get the expression. And so our answer is that the derivative of the function dy dx is equal to y cube e to the power of x minus e to the power of y divided by x e to the power of y minus 3y squared ex. Now let's take up the next example. Find the gradient of tangent to the graph of 2x squared over y minus y over x equals to 1 at x equals to 1. Now we'll differentiate this uh, on the both sides, but before that, let us figure out what are the points, right? So we are given x equals to 1. 
So let's find what is the y value when x is 1. So that is the first part. We will try to find the points for x equals to 1. When you substitute 1 for x, you get a quadratic equation in y as shown here. So we get 2 over y minus y equals to 0 multiplying by y. We get 2 minus y square equals to y and that's the quadratic equation y square plus y minus 2 equals to 0. Now you can factor and find the value of y. So we get two values of y. One is minus 2 and the other one is 1. And that means that there are two points at which we need to find the gradient of the tangent. So that is kind of very important to understand. Well, for you to understand, we have also given you a graph here for the function, which is not necessary to draw. In fact, it should not be drawn also, but it helps you to understand the situation. So these are the two points for x equals to 1, uh, which at which we want to find the derivative, okay, which will give us the gradient of the tangent line. So now we know the points. Let's begin with differentiation of the function with respect to x. Now in this particular case, uh, we'll apply the quotient rule, right, since we have something in the denominator. So we have derivative of 2x squared over y minus y over x is equals to the dx of 1, which is 0. And on the left hand side, we get 4xy minus 2x squared y dash over y squared. This is from the quotient rule, right? So xy dash minus y over x squared equals to 0. Now you can substitute x equals to 1. And when you substitute x equals to 1, uh, and also we can substitute the y values later. So the idea is since there are two points, we'll first simplify the equation for x equals to 1 and then simplify. So you get uh, this equation as 4y minus 2y dash over 2y prime derivative of y over y square minus y prime minus y equals to 0. Now find the gradient at the first point which is let us say a which for us is 1 1 so there are two points one by one we'll find the gradient so first let's find at point a substituting the y value as 1 in this particular case we get y dash equals to 5 over 3 so that becomes one of the answers correct now we have the gradient of the point at uh, a now let's find the gradient at b, which is 1 minus 2. So now I'll substitute y equals to minus 2. So when you substitute y equals to minus 2 in this particular equation, right, which is your equation for both, you will get simplified as shown here. So y is minus 2. So we get minus 8 minus 2y prime over 4 minus y prime plus 2 equals to 0. Solving this equation, we get y prime equals to minus 16 over 10. So those are the two gradients required for the given question. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Now let's take up the next example, which is find the stationary points on the curve x square plus y square minus 4xy plus 3 equals to 0. Now what do you mean by stationary points? Well, these are the points where the gradient or the derivative dy dx is 0. So so the slope of the tangent line is zero. It is parallel to the x-axis, okay? Now, we have the given expression, which is equation, which is x squared plus y squared minus 4xy plus 3 equals to zero. Let us differentiate it, both sides, with respect to x. So when you do that, so this is kind of a shortcut here. So derivative of x squared is 2x, y squared is 2y, dy dx. Here we are going to apply the product rule. So you can see uh, here is the product rule. Derivative of x is 1. So we get 4y plus 4x dy dx. Derivative of 3 is 0. And therefore, that's the equation. Now open the bracket, right? Simplify. Take the constants, I mean, non dy dx terms to the right side and factor out dy dx as shown here. So once you factor this out, you can calculate this as a quotient of 2y minus x over 
y minus 2x. Now we need to find the stationary point that is to say that dy dx should be equal to 0. Substitute 0 for dy dx and so that will be 0 if the numerator is 0 that is to say x is equals to 2y. Perfect. Now we can substitute x equals to 2y in our equation to find the values for x and y. So when we substitute x equals to 2y, we get 2y whole square plus y square minus 4 times 2y times y plus 3 equals to 0. Open the bracket, we get 3y square equals to 3, 3 cancels, y square equals to 1. So when you write y square equals to 1, y is equals to plus minus square root of 1. Don't forget that. So we get plus minus 1. So there are two values of y. Now for each value of y, you can put x equals to 2y, right? So x equals to 2y. In that case, we get x equals to plus minus 2, right? So that is the value of x. So that is how you get two points, which are 2, 1 and minus 2, 1. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Now let's take up the last example, which is based on trigonometric functions. Uh, well, you should know the derivative of tan x is what? Let's write tan x is secant squared x, correct? We are going to use this derivative in the given expression along with the chain rule to find implicit differentiation, right? So we have if tan xy equals to y, find the value of dy dx at a given point, which is 1 pi by 4. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestion. So when we differentiate tan xy equals to x, on the right hand side, we get derivative of x, which is 1, and on the left hand side, we get secant squared xy. We have to now multiply by the derivative of xy. Implicitly, finding the derivative of the same, what do we get? We get y times d dx of x plus x times dy dx, and so we can simplify this expression taking secant square xy on the right hand side dividing 1 by secant square xy on the left hand side we are left with y plus x dy dx and now we can isolate dy dx correct so the expression isolating dy by dx is given to you now since we need to find dy by dx at a given point which is 1 pi by 4 we're going to substitute x equals to 1 and y equals to pi by 4, right? So substitute x equals to 1 and y equals to pi by 4 to find dy dx. You know, cos square pi by 4. So, you know, cos pi by 4 is equal to 1 over square root 2, and definitely its square will be half. And therefore, we get half here for cos square pi by 4 minus pi by 4. And that becomes a simplified expression for the given question. So I hope with this you understand how can we prepare ourselves for a test on implicit differentiation. So we took four examples, a variety basically, involving exponential functions, trigonometric functions, and the equations with x and y together. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given here. Also check our website for the latest videos. Thanks for your time and all the best.